Hey guys, it's Kat. So today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial, a full tutorial on how to get this look right here. So the inspiration for this look was that I get a lot of requests for colorful looks, but I also really wanted to do one that I believe that a lot of more people can wear. So I didn't want to do a hot pink or a crazy yellow or anything like that. I felt like a lot of people's comfort zones are in like browns and I think the closest phrase color to brown would be oranges. Oranges I feel like look really flattering on a lot of people especially in the eye area. I think it looks really pretty on plenty of eye colors and I believe it's just a color that is so vibrant but isn't so out there. So that's why I wanted to do this one for you guys. Um, it actually was pretty simple to complete, so you'll see that in the video. But yeah, that's why I wanted to do this look today. I do want to mention, I do not, I wanted to keep this as simple, not simple, but as user-friendly as possible. So you don't have to do all the eyeliner or the, you don't have to wear falsies. Like, I didn't wear falsies because I wanted to keep it simple. Or you don't have to do the lipstick. I mean, you don't have to do any of it. But as I was saying, I just wanted to keep it as simple, but still vibrant and pretty like people were asking for so yeah if you want to see how to complete this look just keep on watching hello again all right so we're gonna start by um filling in our eyebrows i'm using the milani stay put um brow pomade i'm just gonna go through and just start filling them in however i normally would Okay, now we're going to carve out our eyebrows. I'm going to be using this one from Makeup Revolution. Um, it's the same concealer I'm going to be using throughout, but I'm just going to go through it and just start carving out the eyebrows. Now using the same concealer, I'm just going to put some on my eyelid and buff it out with a foundation brush just to get the base started for whenever we do our eyeshadow and just to blend also the carving out from the eyebrow. Now to get started on the eyeshadow, I'm using this palette from BH Cosmetics. It's just a matte, colorful palette. I forget the name. And then we're also going to be using this one from Jeffree Star. We're going to start with this peachish color and start blending it in all over the crease and kind of up towards the eyebrow as well to kind of get our first um, color in our crease. Next, we're going to take this slightly darker peaches orange shade and we're going to start blending that um, closer into our crease to start defining it and um, get more pigment in there. Now we're going to be taking the shade Suck from the Jawbreaker palette and start um, putting that into our actual crease and start blending that in the outer V of our eye. Make sure while doing this you really pack it on and get as much pigment in there as well just to start darkening up and get that really vibrant orange shade going. Now going back into the BH palette, we're going to be taking this burnt orange color. We're going to start putting that um, closer to the outer V as well again. And this is the darkest shade we're going to be using. So make sure you really blend it out and get that um, shape really going, kind of like flared out like we were going for. Now we're going to be using the same concealer to start cutting our crease. When you do this, just really take your time. It's, for me, it's still difficult to do. 
Um, I kind of use my tear duct as a guideline and I start to just follow the hollows of my eye up. Once again, just take your time with it because it is kind of hard to do. I still struggle. So with it, it's really just practice makes perfect and I'm starting to get it soon. So, so you, so will you after a couple practices. Now, same, using the same brush, I'm going to wipe off all the extra product and start patting down the line from where we cut our crease. I'm doing that to just start blending it out. Now, we're going to go in with the shade from the Jawbreaker palette and put it where we just laid the concealer down to add some shimmer and just another color into it. Um, I picked this pinkish peach shade to really tone down the orange to make it more wearable but still isn't like a white, so you still have that extra color in there. And I think it looked really pretty with all the oranges we used. Now we're gonna be going in with this lighter pink shade from the same palette and put it on our brow bone. I wanted to use it instead of white because I felt like it tied in all the um, peaches and oranges we are using and the rest of the look. And now we're going to get into the face. I'm using this Insta Strobing from Rimmel, but you can use any illuminator. I'm using this instead of a pore filling primer today just because I really want that glowy skin to kind of go along with the rest of the look. And I'm just using this foundation brush to start buffing it into the skin. Now using this completely oversized sponge, here I'll do a little comparison with just a normal beauty sponge from Real Techniques. This one's from uh, Sonia Kashuk I believe, but I'm going to use that to just blend in the rest of the strobing stuff that we used. <laughs> now we're going on the foundation, this one's from Pat McGrath. We're going to um, start by putting that on the skin. And, oh, I just dripped some on myself. Go figure. Typical me. But we're just going to go ahead and just start putting that all over the face. And once again, just start buffing it out with the same foundation brush we used for the strobing cream illuminator stuff. Now going back in with that oversized beauty sponge, I'm going to blend out any harsh lines from the brush. I like the um, brush for foundation to just buff it in, but it does leave some harsh lines. Now we're going back in with that same Makeup Revolution concealer and start doing that on the, I guess, the highlighting points of our face. So I'm doing it all under my eye and kind of up onto the sides of my nose. And I'm also going to put that on the center of my forehead, some more on my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow. Kind of just wherever you need more concealer. And then 
ahead and blended that in. Now I'm going to be going in with this powder from uh, Maybelline. It's their Fit Me. And I'm just going to set in place where we just put all the concealer. I'm not going to go on the entire face just because I kind of just put it where I get oily the most, I suppose. But you can do your whole face too if you want. I just preferably do it where I just put the concealer and kind of on my neck because I kind of hate the feeling of foundation on the neck. And then we're going to go in with an angled bronzing brush. And I'm going to go in with the Hoola bronzer. And I'm going to start putting that on my cheeks. Um, one rule of thumb is kind of to make a three on the side of your face with the bronzer. And a quick tip. Um... If your bronzers are ever too strong or even your blush, go in with the same powder brush you used beforehand and just blend that out and it will help tone down wherever you might just want a little too crazy with the blush or bronzer. Now we're going to start with the blush. I'm just using a rounded blush brush. I'm using this one from e.l.f. And you're just going to put that on the apple, apples of your cheek. Wow, that was so hard to say. <laughs> Next, we're going to highlight. I'm using this one from Ofra in Rodeo Drive. We're going to put that on the high points of our face. So you can go ahead and put that on the top of your cheekbones, your nose, your cupid's bow. Some people put it on their chin or kind of above their eyebrow, wherever you prefer. But just go ahead and highlight your face. <laughs> Quick tip, wet your brush for an extra bright highlight. Now going back into the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and tight line my eyes with this um, pencil liner from Maybelline. And I'm just going ahead and closing my eye and running that along my top eyelash line. Now we're going to go ahead and smoke out our bottom lash line. I'm using this little um, buffing brush kind of. And I'm going to dip into that same orange shade we used earlier from the Jawbreaker palette. Um, I think it was called Suck. I think. And I'm going to start putting that on my bottom lash line and just really smoking it out and blending it. Now this part is optional, but I'm going to start doing eyeliner. Um, I'm using this one from Kat Von D. It's the tattoo liner. For my eyeliner, I basically just draw a line out from the corner of my eye and connect it back down to the lash line. And then just draw a line down from there, basically. You can thicken it up however you want. Honestly, eyeliner is one of those things, kind of like the cut crease earlier. The more you do, the more comfortable you'll get. And... And you'll just be able to just throw on the eyeliner like it's nothing in no time, honestly. You just have to get comfortable with it. going to be wearing eyelashes so I'm just going to go in and just start curling my eyelashes. Since we aren't doing eyelashes we're going to wear mascara. I'm using my favorite run from Maybelline. This is the Falsies Mascara and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on like I normally would. Now to go on to lips, I'm going to be using this liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. This one's in the shade Bone Arrow, but you can use any brown, brownish orange shade you could have. Now 
now to go over the liquid lipstick, I'm going to be using this shimmery brownish color lipstick from Wet n Wild. I honestly don't remember the name of it, so I'm sorry about that. Um, last step, we're going to spray our face and set it all in. This one's from Morphe. So guys, this is the finished look for today. I actually really, really like what, how this turned out. Like I said at the beginning, I really wanted to do something that was very bright, but I still believe it was kind of wearable for day to day since not everyone feels comfortable going out in like hot pink eyeshadow like I am because I'm psychotic. But um, so this was how the look turned out. I actually really, really love it. If you would like more makeup tutorials, comment down below what kind of looks you would like to see and give this video a like because it helps me know I'm doing really good for you guys. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below um, and ring the bell so you get notifications when I post. Yeah, that's everything. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!